In this video we're going to look at using the ggplot2 package to create scatter plots in R. The data set that we will use to illustrate this approach is a set of data on the UK population in thousands of people between the years 1992 and 2009. So first up we're going to create ourselves a data frame which we can store this information using the data.frame function. So we see here we've got two columns. The first one's the year and the second one's the population. Now we create the year using the colon notation to indicate we want a sequence of years from 1992 to 2009 and we want it to increment by year each time. So we print out our data and we can see that it's been created in the way that we would expect. So what we want to do to make use of the ggplot2 library is first of all to make it available in this session. Then the function that we use, as with all plots using this package, is the function ggplot. So our first argument is the name of a data frame, and then our second argument is the aesthetics. And the aesthetics map between data in our data frame and the particular elements that appear in the graph. So by default, the first and second arguments to AES are the data to appear on the x-axis and on the y-axis respectively. So then what we need to do is to make use of the geoms to indicate what type of graph we're producing and geom point is to use to create a scatter plot. So if we create this particular graph, we can see we've got the basis for the graph that we want to produce. So then what we could do is we could start adding bits and pieces onto this graph. So for example, we could add x-axis and y-axis labels to it. So we do a point and then have the xlab and ylab functions. So this just adds some text to our graph. So we just bring that up again. We can now see it says total population in thousands on the y-axis. Then lastly, what we could do is just add an overall title to the graph. So we bring up the previous step and then we use the ops function which changes options for a graph and here we're going to specify the title. So title equals this string UK population. We submit that, created the new graph and we see the only thing that we've added is the title here. So that's a nice feature of ggplot2 where you can gradually add bits and pieces on top of the graph in a series of layers.